Okay, Peter, let's say you work at a large pharma company and you say, Jack, uh, I heard you have this wonderful platform. Uh, I'll give you a, uh, a molecule that we're thinking about that might hit this particular target in the body. Maybe it hits glioblastoma as an example, this brain, you know, brain cancer, horrific disease. And um, we'll take that, we'll make a digital twin of that, Peter, and we'll make 10 million, 100 million, maybe a billion permutations on that drug. We'll add a methyl group that is adding a carbon and a few, a few hydrogens. We'll add a nitrogen, we'll add an amine group, we'll add this, we'll take away that. Each one will be a slight variation on the theme that you initially started with. These, based are, AI on your simula research. these are AI simulations in Wait, quantum. So, that's right. So first there, we take the quantum equations, we run those, and that becomes the data set. So we're generating our data set, and that's what we use to train the AI. Okay, let's, so, let's, let's pause so right there. That's, that's, really, that's, that's, really that's a fundamental point. That's really important here. That is yeah. a fundamental point. Yeah. The, the, if you were trying to discover these molecules that are useful in cancer, Alzheimer's, and so forth, trying to get those with a large language model, the data doesn't exist in the corpus of data that the large language model is right. crawling. It's outside the data set. And so there's no, the it's set. impossible for them to discover it if they didn't have the data in the first place. That's correct. And so you've got to generate the data that these you know, these quantum models can then assimilate and generalize. So well, let's, more specifically, let's Peter, yeah. double down on that for me. Please. Yeah, let's double click on that. So basically what's happening here is instead of the world of large language models, we've now entered the world, Peter, of large quantitative models, LQMs. Mm -hmm. And LQMs are about starting with equations to generate data. That is one, the, that's the most efficient way to generate data and the most accurate way to generate data is with the equations themselves. The equations so, are the bedrock of the universe. They are the fundamentals. They're upon which yeah. everything is built and created. 